Hello everyone. So, we are finally here with the next iteration of the Spring Boot 2.0 cohort. Now, I know it's been quite some time since a lot of you guys have been requesting me for the next iteration of our flagship Spring Boot course. This has been one of the finest offering at AlgoCam which has helped a lot of software engineers build their career in backend development, specifically in the domain of Java with Spring Boot. And here we are. This time we are coming up with an even better offering for the Spring Boot cohort. In this particular video, I am going to talk about some of the key pointers in terms of what's, what are the, some of the major things that we are going to cover throughout the cohort. We'll be talking about some basic details around when are we going to start, when are the live classes starting and whatnot. There will be a dedicated video that I will be posting about the complete in-depth syllabus analysis where I will talk about every single topic and subtopic that we are going to cover. So do keep an eye on the channel and do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that particular notification. And now without any further ado, let's just start and let's start talking about all of the details on this brand new backend development cohort with Spring Boot. We know that the offering of our previous Spring Boot cohort was one of the finest that you are going to find. We were talking about a lot of interesting and advanced topic starting from basics of Spring Boot to a lot of advanced topics like distributed transactions, gRPC, microservices and whatnot. And we have made sure that all of those advanced concepts are again coming inconsistent in the new Spring Boot batch as well. So if I talk about what all things we are going to cover just with a few details, then we are going to talk about a lot of advanced back engineering concept, including the CQRS pattern, API composition, materialized view pattern. We are going to talk about the distributed transactions through Saga. We are going to talk about orchestration based Saga, choreography based Saga. We are going to talk about event sourcing with Kafka. We are going to take a very deep dive into understanding the basics of Kafka and then integrate it with event sourcing. We are going to talk about interesting concepts like microservices architecture and we are going to make full fledged projects using microservices. We'll be talking about service discovery, distributed transactions. We'll be talking about consistency models, DB replication, DB transactions, DB internals and whatnot. We'll be talking about distributed logs using Redis and a lot of high level as well as low level design concepts as well. So the major projects that we are going to cover in the course are going to include things like an Uber like ride hailing backend. We'll be talking about a payment wallet system where you will be understanding how you will be able to do distributed transactions. How will you, you will be able to actually shard your database and then do transactions on top and how you will be able to actually implement the saga pattern, not just talking about the theory. We'll be talking about an Airbnb like booking platform where we will talk about some really interesting topics like idempotency, how you can actually handle concurrency, different isolation models, and we will see the implementation of all of these actually in the projects. An interesting project that this time we have added in the course is going to be a stock exchange. Yes, we'll be talking about how exactly an order manage management and order matching service of a stock exchange like National Stock Exchange or Bombay Stock Exchange actually works and we are going to actually implement that in Spring Boot with end-to-end -end APIs. There will be some minor projects as well which will help us to understand the basic concepts of Spring Boot including a Quora app as well as an e-commerce application. All of these projects bring new things on the table. Some of the projects are going to be a monolith, some of them are going to be a microservice. Few microservices we are going to make sure that they communicate through REST APIs. Few of them are going to we are going to make sure that they communicate through gRPC so that you get an understanding of how exactly you can integrate gRPC and whatnot. So there is a lot of things that we have added inconsistencies with the last batch, which is going to make sure that all of your understanding regarding the backend development in Spring Boot is at par. Also, we have added concepts like basics of high level design and low level design for all the projects that you are going to cover in this course. We are going to make sure that everything that we talk about, we have hands on implementation around that so that you get real life experience of the coding effort that you have to do for all of these advanced concepts. So do check out the course page. You will find all the details of the syllabus right there. There is a dedicated PDF also that I have attached for the details of the course syllabus, but no worries. I'll be making a dedicated video on each and every single topic altogether. 
So apart from the consistencies from the last part, this time we have of course added a brand new project which is going to be a stock exchange like order matching service. We'll talk about a lot of intricacies about stock platforms, how exactly the market orders are matched, how you can actually implement a complete service out of that. This is going to be a very interesting and then algorithmically challenging project as well because there is going to be a lot of algorithmic aspects Plus, there will be a lot of low level design aspects also that we are going to cover that how exactly you can structure the project well, how you can use design patterns in the project and whatnot. So the sole focus on design patterns and how you can make the project more scalable and more maintainable is going to be a new addition altogether. Apart from that, we have added a brand new module on Spring AI. Of course, we know that the integration of AI tools in most of the products is now common. If you are a working professional, you might be already aware about the fact that your company is already focusing a lot on AI tools and asking you to integrate these AI tools in your existing projects. So why not learn them hands on and see how you can actually integrate existing LLMs with Spring using Spring AI. We're going to have a dedicated module on Spring AI where we will talk about how you can use the power of LLMs and make your projects even better. These two are some of the most important add-ons that we have added along with all the new low-level design aspects that we are going to talk about and all the high-level design aspects that we are going to talk about. This is going to make sure that you not just have all the relevant but also the advanced concepts ready with you. This course is going to be absolutely beginner friendly because we are going to talk about things starting from what is Spring and we are going to take you to the advanced level. We are not going to make sure that okay you already know about Spring and then we th build things on top of it. Instead, we are going to talk about absolute basics of very basic things like what is a build system? How exactly a build system work? We are going to see different different build systems like Gradle, Bazel, etc. We'll be talking about basics of REST API, basics of gRPC, and then we will be doing hands-on on top of it. This is going to make sure that everything we talk about, everything we learn, we implement that as well. So if you know nothing about Spring, you are actually at the right place. We'll be talking about everything, starting from the beginner level to the advanced level altogether. So few important things. All of the content that we are going to cover in the live classes will be available as recorded classes to you later. So in case you miss the live sessions, no worries. Everything will be already available to you. We'll be having a lot of recorded modules that you are going to get and you will be able to actually later see all of these recordings yourselves whenever you have time. Apart from that, there will be two weekly live classes, one on Tuesday and one on Saturday. The one on Tuesday can be flexible between Tuesday and Wednesday, depending on the availability of the instructor as well as the students. And the class timing will be 9 p.m. IST. We'll be talking about everything in English. So the complete medium of instruction is going to be English. Also, we are going to make sure that everything that we cover in the live classes, you get the dedicated notes as well as the code directly after the class so that you can later revise, do the hands on and of course, do attempt the assignment as well. There's going to be a dedicated Discord community where you will be able to talk to other people who are actually enrolled in the course and ask questions with me and the other instructors. So this is going to be making sure that you have a complete community support and you are able to ask all of your relevant questions. So what are you waiting for? Do check out the link of the course in the description section below. You can use the coupon code SPRING2026 to get massive discount and early bird discount on this particular course. This is going to be your first step towards becoming a full-fledged advanced backend engineer and understanding the concepts of real scalable systems. This course is going to make sure that you do not just learn the concepts but actually make complex problem-driven and actual engineering solution-based projects that you can actually show off in your resume. So I'm really excited for the course. I hope you guys are too. So do check out the link in the description section below. And if you have any question, do drop all of your questions in the comment section below. We would be happy to answer all of them. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We're going to meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.